guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jesus Amari, and if you're not new here, hey, welcome back. As y'all saw from the title, today we're doing a What's on My iPhone video. I did this video seven months ago, I just looked. Um, so yeah, it's kind of time for a new one. I still have the same phone, but it's kind of different. I changed it and I have different apps, different layout or whatever. I tend to change my phone a lot. Like I change, I probably keep the same layout, but the lock screen, I always change it. But when I change my lock screen, I change my home screen because I like them to correlate. Like when I open my phone, I like it to match the home screen. I don't know. That's always been my thing. So yeah, I like stuff to match. I've been requested to do this video and I'm finally doing it because I've been holding off because I wanted to change my phone. I didn't like the way it looked. I just didn't like it for the video. But anyways, I've been talking too much. I had a long intro last video and I like looking at my analytics, everybody skipped to like when I start my video. So I'm not gonna have this intro too long. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave a like down below. If you don't subscribe, at least like the video because it helps me out a lot and I really would appreciate it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move this way. Yeah, move the camera a little bit. I'm gonna move this way so I can put the phone over here. Um, let's go ahead and screen record so I can actually start this. All right, now I'm screen recording. Y'all can see it's gonna be over here. This is my lock screen. It says make yourself proud. Um, I have my, what is it called? Um, focus on, cause I just don't like the notifications and I get tired of hearing notifications pop up that I really don't care about. So I have it set to where only certain people can text me and it comes through like important people that text me and it comes through or certain apps I need to see like I have YouTube studio notifications on and YouTube notifications on so I can see those but this is a couple apps that I have open whatever y'all really don't care about that um I have this wallpaper that says make yourself proud I got that off of Pinterest um super cute I like simple basic motivating wallpapers because I don't like the pictures I don't know I just never really got into that I don't know so this is my home screen what it looks like when I open it it really looks like this but this is the first actual page um I like playing backgrounds like I said I don't like having pictures as my background it just doesn't look the same to me live screen is cool but home screen I just don't like the way it clashes with the app so I always have like a plain background so it doesn't clash with anything it's just like really plain and simple so yeah it's just the same thing make yourself proud um i have youtube studio at the bottom safari apple music and messages youtube studio if you have youtube you need this app you need to use this app you need to download it like literally right now because you need that um if you don't have that go ahead and get that now because you it shows you everything you need to know your analytics your comments your views your like your money like literally everything how much you got left to your monetize literally everything you need to know is in that app um then we have safari safari it's just safari like you look up stuff it's just like google basically um apple music if apple music is not loading that's embarrassing but yeah so that's apple music and then we have messages is messages y'all know basic apple apps then we have the next page the next page is facetime calendar settings and photos all the basic apps facetime you just facetime like face call calendar just a regular you know regular calendar the days and stuff um settings is settings i don't know what to say like you just get everything in there photos photos like just take photos you know you can see all your photos and yeah battery this is my little battery widget i have my phone and my apple watch connected to it i would have my airpods connected to but they're on the charger right now and they've closed i haven't opened them all day so they would normally pop up right there but they're not popped up so yeah it's just two empty spaces but that's what that is and then we have a widget smith under it as the date and the whole month on there so that's what that is i can see it every time i open my phone even if so i'd have to like slide down and like see what day is i can just see when i open my phone then i have phone which is just calls weather you can see the weather i'm not gonna open that because it's gonna show my location um maps same thing it's gonna show my location but you know how the maps just guide you where you need to go camera i'm going to look at y'all say hey look at my ring light that is so ghetto but that was so ugly too, but 
anyways um next we have the lock app i'm sorry jada if you're watching this and you're on here i'm sorry i had to film the video sorry um then we have mail this is like my spam email i have like when i order something i put my email that email there because i'm not gonna see it anymore like once i get the thing i'm not really gonna look back for the email because it's just not going i don't know i don't really care and then when i sign up for stuff to get like you know when you get on a new like clothes website and they be like sign up to get certain percent off that's the when i put my email in so i can get the little percent off or whatever um then we have clock y'all know what that is got all these dang alarms because i can't wake up on time so then we have find my find my you can find like your phone your ipad your apple watch like any apple products you can use that to find that you can also use that to when you're looking to share a location with people so yeah that's really what it is then we have the socials tab so we have youtube tiktok pinterest twitter Musi, and linktree youtube um you know how to work youtube because you're here so I don't really gotta go too much detail, but if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We're on the way to 10K, so join a part of the gang so we can hit to 10K. I just stumbled over my words so bad, but yes, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, all my 6,000 subscribers. Then we have TikTok. Y'all know what TikTok is. Aww. Then we have TikTok. Go follow my TikTok yeah go follow my tiktok thank you thank you anyways then we have pinterest pinterest is literally like my instagram now because i don't have instagram anymore like i told y'all like my last couple videos i don't have instagram anymore so this is kind of like my instagram i just kind of just say pictures like this pictures that i like and just keep it pushing basically Oh, this is so cute. Where's my hair? Basically, yeah. This is my Pinterest. You can follow me. Um, like I said, I showed this in my last video, but your girl, if it's gonna show up, got two million. I don't know why I said this. I don't really care, but two million impressions. Two million have people have seen me. That's so crazy. But yeah. Um. Anyways. So that's Pinterest. We have Twitter. Twitter, I don't really use Twitter. I just use that to, when I like look at posts, it'd be like funny tweets. So I just be looking. I've seen that on TikTok, but I just be liking stuff or I just like screenshot stuff. Like I would do like that, screenshot it and like I would post it on Instagram or something. I just save it for when I want to. I don't know. I used to just screenshot it so I could post it on Instagram basically. So. But now I just like the tweet or whatever and keep it pushing because it'd be like some funny stuff on here. Then we have Musi. Musi is just Musi. Like, this is where I use, I use Musi when they don't have it on Apple Music. And I also use it to find new music because I'll just type in the artist name and it'll be like a whole playlist already made. And I'll just listen to it and add songs when I like the song tip. But yeah that's a tip you should take then i have linktree linktree is can i open this okay yeah the linktree is like this y'all know when people have the links in their bio that's what this is so i just have that so i can i got the app so i don't have to go to the website every time so i just have this i put it in my bio of my instagram and my tiktok i think yeah so people can just go through like all my different accounts and stuff so that's what that is I really don't use this app, but I used it when I first made it to make it look nice. Like, it's super cute, so, yeah. Then the next page, I have Snapchat and Instagram. They're both offloaded. Like I told y'all, I don't have those apps. They're on my phone, but I don't, they're not downloaded. Like, I can't get notifications or none of that. It's just there. So, I don't, it's like, if I delete it, it's going to be the same as me offloading, basically, because I still got to re-download it. So, I thought I'm just going to offload it. Save me storage, and I when I want to get it back, all I got to do is push a button. So, yeah. I don't use those, though. But then I have this motivation widget in the middle. It says, everything happens for a reason. Life can put you down. Only 
so you can get back up for the better things. Live life, forgive, and forget. Let go of the past. Those, it changes like every couple of minutes or something, but those really be motivational. Like they're really good to have and to see. So yeah, that's the motivation app. I'll show y'all that later. So then we have the money folder. I have Cash App, Chase, ADP Mobile, Safe Moon, Homebase, Shopper, PayPal, and PNC. So Cash App, y'all know what Cash App is. I'm not gonna open it, but y'all know what Cash App is. Send and receive money, basically. Um, Chase is one of the banks that I have, so I'm not gonna open that. But Chase is Chase Bank, who I bank with. ADP Mobile is um, where I can see like my hours for my job and how much I get paid and how they like correlate, like make sure it's the right pay or whatever. That's what that is. Um, Safe Moon is this investing app that I have. Um, I got it like last year or the year before. My uncle had told me to get it or whatever. So I have that. Home base is where I can see like my shifts and who I'm working with and like what days I work, my hours. This is the thing that we used to clock in with. Like it'll tell me when I clock in, when I need to clock out. And if I didn't clock out, like all of that, um, that's what home base is. And then shopper is Instacart shopper. Cause I downloaded it at the beginning of the summer cause I was gonna do Instacart. I did it like two times and that was it. I haven't done it. I haven't really had time to. So it's just sitting there. I mean, I can pick it up whenever I wanna just do it, but it's just sitting there. Then I have PayPal for my Depop when I get Depop orders and then payments for like brands and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Um, PNC, PNC is, I just got this app because I'm planning to change banks. So I got the app because it was like you can create an account in the app, but I was thinking about just going up there and, and getting the account like in person so I could just like talk to somebody and have them like explain to me like what comes with all of it. So we'll see, might have PNC only in here and no more Chase, but I don't know, I'm planning to move banks anyway. So yeah, next we have the random folder. I have App Store. App Store is just the app store, like how you get all the apps. Flow, flow is a period checker. I really don't use this anymore. Like I, my period is just, it just comes on the same time every month. Like literally I'll know when it comes. So I really don't use it anymore, but it sits there and it's always reminding me, your period, you didn't mark your period. Like I haven't marked it in like two months. So it's thinking like, it's like, you're pregnant. You might, here's why you might be pregnant. Here's why your period might be late. And I'll be like, bro, just stop notifying me. Then we have calculator. Calculator, you can do five plus five, 10. Then we have fitness app. Fitness is, I think this is for my Apple Watch. Yeah, this is, this connects to my Apple Watch. So I didn't wear my Apple Watch today, so nothing's gonna pop up. Um, but it just tells you like stand, exercise, and then how many calories you burn. And like when you close the ring, it like notifies you or whatever as like accomplishment or whatever. Then I have the Planet Fitness app. This app is just so I can scan in to Planet Fitness, but I'm about to delete it because their free trial is going to end on the 31st. So I'm going to get a gym membership next month. I'm probably going to do LA Fitness because I like the way that gym looks. So I'll probably do LA Fitness. So y'all will see in my vlogs which gym I end up going to because y'all going to see me working out. So yeah. Then we have the Roku app this is where i can control my tv like i can literally i just turned it on i wish y'all but it's, i'm not gonna move the camera around but y'all y'all see what it is um then we have google photos google photos is basically like photos but you can have your photos from like years like i've got photos from like four years ago from google photos because it's just an extra storage space but my storage is full on that so i don't know what i'm gonna do then lock it, lock it is, it's gonna show my toes again. Lock it is this. Actually, I'm gonna do this so y'all can see. It's my lock it picture, boom. And then I'll send it and then that's that, that's lock it. Then we have podcasts. I've been trying to get into podcasts recently. I don't know like which ones are really good. So I just downloaded a couple, but um, if y'all have any podcast requests, not requests, but like recommendations, let me know because I really want to get into podcasts. I like them, so it depends on the topic and what they're talking about, so yeah. 
And then we have Widget Smith. Widget Smith is just how I get the things in the middle. Oh, look, see, it's another picture. How I get the things in the middle, that's basically what Midget Smith is. And then GIF, GIF keyboard. Can I open this? Well, I can't open it, but that's how I get my extra GIF. Like, people always ask me how I get, like, the better GIFs or GIFs or whatever. And this is the secret, but nobody knows because it doesn't tell you when you text them. But instead of having Apple GIFs, because it has... Apple has some GIFs that already come with it. It's called, like, Images or something. But... This right here, this will get you the better ones that you can actually like use. Like they don't have beat up, like I'll be looking like beat up and it won't pop up on the Apple one. But when I look up on GIF, it'll pop up like different people fighting and stuff. So yeah, Apple Watch is the Apple Watch app. I just have like all the Apple Watch stuff, whatever, basically. Then motivation, motivation is how I got the little widget right there. Um, See how I just changed, but you can just slide through. Here goes the ad. Great. Okay, now we got to sit through this ad together. Oh, I can just put close. But this is what it looks like. You can just scroll and stuff. So, yeah. And then it'll just change up here too, which is cool. So then we have the YouTube app. This has my subscriber counts. 6630 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and being part of can I say a part of the family? I don't know what to call y'all. I need something to call you guys. Like, I know y'all my supporters, but I feel like I need, like, a name. Like, people be calling you my family, besties. Like, there's different stuff people be calling, but I don't know what to call y'all. So, I'm going to think of that, and we'll get back to that. Then we have Fonto. Fonto is how I make my thumbnails. I just add text. Let me see if I can do something. Um show y'all how I make something okay use and I'll be like hey basically I'll be like hey y'all and pick out a font that I want specific font there's a whole bunch of fonts that you can download on the font.com that you can get them from and download them to your phone or computer then you have like the color changing the stroke it's like the thickness of it and then the text is like the regular color of the text you can change it to color you can change the color or whatever width you want and that's just me making it smaller and larger and then i think i just spin it around that's tilting it you can just move it around real small or you can move it around with your finger just make it move around faster you can duplicate it there's a lot of different things you can do with the app if y'all want a full detail i'll give that to y'all in my how i edit video because i can go more in depth and give y'all more of an explanation as to what i do my camera stopped recording, so I'm going to go back into what I was talking about, but you can curve the text, you can duplicate it, and yeah, that's basically what I use to do my text on Fonto for my thumbnails. Um, Canva, Canva I use from time to time depending on my thumbnail, depending on the video I want to do. This is what it looks like. I was making the... Um, back to school emergency kit video but yeah i got a lot of this is see this is what i use to make my um vision board too but yeah they have different cute fonts on there so i definitely recommend that CapCut, CapCut is like an editing app it's really basic and easy this is what like all the tiktokers use for the like aesthetically pleasing videos and yeah they end up being super cute but I don't use it. I use it for my, um, when I make my intros, that's what I use to make my intros because it has like the nice little transitions and stuff. And then YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is where I make all of my thumbnails. You can see all my thumbnails. This is literally, did I say YouTube Studio? I don't know what I said, but this is what I use to lay out my thumbnails. I just add the picture and kind of just go with the flow, like add the like symmetrical. I hate making this thumbnail i hate making thumbnails because i'm so perfectionist like i like all my thumbnails like the size of each rectangle to be even or look like it's even and it just makes me do it over and over again Dropbox, Dropbox is what i use for miss nyla cole's editing course it's uploaded because i haven't touched it in a while because i already watched her videos but i still have it downloaded in there so if i ever want to go back and watch rewatch or anything then it's there um sign now sign now i got to sign contracts or documents or whatever 
with companies so I can sign it like th with my phone and it's so much easier so yeah I have YouTube tracker YouTube tracker I really don't need that anymore but ugh. why is it so giving me ads but you can use that to like see how many subscribers and watch time you have like you can use it to see like how many videos you have views all that stuff um, that's what YouTube Tracker is. So if you aren't monetized, I definitely recommend that app because it lets you know how far you are into the process. Like, blown up so you can just click on it and see instead of going all the way to YouTube Studio, scrolling down and clicking monetization and all that stuff. Then Gmail. Gmail is where I have my business email. So that's what that is. And I have my other email too, but I really don't use that one as much. It's just there if I don't want to use my Yahoo mail and I need to actually see something. So, yeah, then we have the shopping folder. I have Amazon. Y'all know what Amazon is. You order a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I love getting stuff on Amazon. Then we have Shein. Shein is, everybody knows what Shein is. Like, Shein is the fashion app. Like, you know, Shein, go shop on Shein. And they have a whole bunch of clothes. Somebody want to buy my cart, let me know. You can buy my cart. This ain't my full cart, but... You feel me? You can definitely send some money and buy my car. I would love, love that so much. Then we have Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is a clothing app. Same thing. Buy stuff. I haven't shopped from Fashion Nova in a minute because I really haven't bought clothes. Oh, I like that shirt. Okay. But yeah, then I have Alibaba. Alibaba is kind of like AliExpress, but it's more like for like wholesale items, like when you're starting like a business. You should get Alibaba, and they have, like, a lot of vendors where you can get stuff. That's where people get their vendors. You can also get your vendors other places, but I know for sure you can get vendors on Alibaba. AliExpress I have for when I want to buy certain wigs for a cheaper price, but they're still good quality. So, AliExpress has good wigs. Fetch Rewards, I really don't use this because I get tired of scanning, like, the points. But it's just where you can... Like, when you get a receipt, you buy something, you can, like, use that money to actually get real stuff. So, yeah, maybe one day I'll probably find, be able to get enough, but I just really don't be, I'll be tired of scanning stuff. And then Depop, Depop is where you sell clothes. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow my Depop. You don't even got to follow it. I really don't care about the followers, but you can shop my Depop. I'm probably going to add some more stuff later. This is all I have right now. But, yeah, so, if you need some new clothes for a cheap price, go check my Depop out. I need to let, like, I have a whole bunch of clothes. I just don't feel like, it's just a whole long process. I don't feel like putting them up yet, so I haven't put them up. Apartments, Apartments is an apartment app. Can I open this without showing my location? Let's see. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to blur that out. That whole screen's blurred out because it just showed my location. Anyways, then we have Priceline. Priceline is an app where you can um, look up flights prices, basically. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm going to expose myself. I just exposed myself. Well, I exposed myself, but hopefully you don't watch this video. Anyways, it's a app where you can look up flight prices and see how much stuff is. To go places, so that's what that is. Then we have Klarna. Klarna is like a pay part of it now, pay part of it later app. Y'all know what that is. It's like, what is it? What's the other app? I don't remember what the other app is. It's just like that quad pay or something. I don't know. Then we have Shop. Shop is where you can see all your stuff that you ordered in one area. And it'll just notify you, see notifications when your package is out for delivery and all that. So that's what Shop is. And then next folder we have is Chick-fil-A app. Y'all know I love some Chick-fil-A. Well, I really kind of grew out of it now, but that's what Chick-fil-A is. I don't really have no reward points anymore. I kind of use them all, but yeah, Chick-fil-A app, Chick-fil-A. Um, DoorDash, y'all know what DoorDash is. I have that. I really don't order off of DoorDash, but because they, they be taxing with the prices, but I have it just in case. I want something bad and I want to order it so I just have that there. Lifesome. Lifesome is this app where 
can I open it? Where I just like track my calories for the day. I haven't done it recently, but I usually would do it when I go to like the gym and stuff and put it in here, but it just, it's kind of time consuming. So I haven't been using as much, but yeah. Then we have planning folder. We have notes, notion, Google calendar and reminders. Reminders is reminders. Y'all know you can say reminders. I don't know if I have any check notion. Yeah. I need to delete that because I don't do that anymore. Then we have notes. Notes is, ooh, all my video ideas. Notes is, notes, like I put everything in here. Like if I need to write something down really quick, I have to put it in my notes. If I have to plan something out, I put it in my notes. Like I have my video ideas in there because I just like how quick it is and easy to access. Um, then we have Notion. Can I open that? Oh, well. Notion is kind of like a planner app too. I can just plan out everything I have to do for my month or year, like goals and all that. So that's what Notion is. And then I have Google Calendar. Google Calendar is calendar, but it's with Google. I just like the way it looks. Like it's all colorful and stuff and it's more visually pleasing. It makes me want to use it more, which I do. I literally fill it out every month. So then I transfer it to that board over there. So they're kind of identical. So if I don't have that, I'm not sitting in front of my board. I can look on my phone and it'll have the same thing and then we have google calendar widget right here and it just tells me what i need to do today i needed to film this video yesterday that's why it doesn't pop up as today but i didn't finish my hair so you know whatever um that's it this is just all my apps on the end but yeah that's my phone i really don't have anything i don't have a lot of apps it's pretty much it um let me stop screen recording yeah, I really don't have any apps, really. I really do not be on my phone that much, but. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button or click that like button. I would prefer to click the like button because it's gonna help me more than a subscribe button, but I would love if you hit that subscribe button as well because that's gonna help me get to 10K. So, either way it goes, do one of them. If you don't feel like subscribing, then like the video. If you don't feel like liking the video, subscribe. It takes one second out your day. Just go ahead and do it right now. I'm gonna give you time. Like, you can really do it right now. I'm not gonna talk. Just go ahead and scroll down there and do it. You did. All right, but if there's any videos you guys want me to do, comment them down below. We're gonna go ahead and close up this video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.